Hello, in this session we will talk about intersect set operation. This is Hassan Mir from 02ProTraining.com. So in the previous sessions we have talked about union and union all set operation. We have also talked about minus set operation and now it's time to take a look at the intersect operation. I am connected to SAP HANA Studio. These are the tables we have in the system. Course table contains data on instructor-led courses that we are offering. Online course table contains data on online courses that we are offering. And we have student table contains data on the students. Student underscore course table contains data on the relationship between students and courses, which student is taking which instructor-led courses. And then we have team table contains data on teams. So the intersect set operation gives you the common values in two sets. Okay, so if I go to the course table and right click and choose open content, this gives me the list of courses we are offering through the instructor led training program. Okay, you can see we are offering four courses SQL, ABAP, Accounting, and Java. If I right click on student, sorry, on online course table and choose open content, you can see we are offering two courses through the online program project management and SQL. Now if I ask you to give me the list of those courses that are being offered through both the programs, online and instructor-led, how would you go about that using set operations? Okay, So let's right click on tables node and choose SQL editor to open up SQL editor. Okay, so let's write the SQL here. I can say select name comma description from course. So this gives me the courses that we are offering through the instructor-led program, course comma description. Let's go back to the SQL and if I say select name comma description from online course then this gives me the list of courses we are offering through the online program and I want the common values in the two list. For that I can use intersect keyword here and this now becomes one SQL and if I run this I should be able to see the common values in the two lists. It's important to note that when we say common values then values have to be common for the whole record together. Okay so now we're gonna look at the whole record together that has to be common in the two list. So name and description both are same in the two list so that's why only one row is appearing but if I change this to ID comma name comma description now IDs may not match for the SQL course in the two tables so if I go back to the uh, content of the course table you can see SQL has an ID 001 and if I go to the content of online course table you can see SQL has an ID 002 having said that now I'm saying select ID name description from course table and intersect that with ID name description from online course table. Now the two records are not common because ID is different. So if I run this I will not see anything in the result. So for the intersect or any other set operation to work all the values are, are considered together as one combination same is true for the minus, same is true for the union and union all. So let's remove the ID. I just wanted to give you an example to clarify the concept. For the intersect it doesn't matter which SQL or which set is coming first. Okay, Set 1 intersect set 2 will give you the same result as set 2 intersect set 1 but this is not true for the minus okay and the same is true for union and union all as well minus the sequence is important set 1 minus set 2 is not the same thing as set 2 minus set 1 so if I run this I'll see the same result 